This is our rotary incremental shaft encoder. This is a magnetic device. Notice that it's running out around. We did that so that you can see that it, it can deal with run out on the shaft. It's even got some metal shavings on it to let you realize the sensor will work even if there's contaminations in the way. What happens when this light blinks? That is zero degrees. This device takes 30 pulses off of here, do this, and interpret it into 30,000 pulses per revolution. And then in the PLC, we scale that down to zero to 359 degrees. So as you can see, taking 30,000 pulses to 360 degrees of rotation makes us extremely accurate. On the encoder screen, this is zero to 359 degrees that we're seeing for the shaft encoder. Uh, and these are cam settings. If I wanted to change this cam setting value, I could bring it up here and say fire at 20 degrees and enter and now the cam will run from 20 to 180. Uh, if I want to put it at 10 degrees for the start of the cam, if I want to change the end value, 190 degrees and enter. Now this cam is firing. You'd use this to make machine functions to fire solenoid valves or run diverters or things of that sort. This is a key factor for one of the products we have on the machine. Also, we use the incremental pulses from this encoder to talk about when to fire our reject. So when we find a product, we can program how far we move down the conveyor before we reject it. Therefore, even though we have four different sensors, we have one reject point, and we can adjust that reject to fire.